Hello friends, today let's learn how to open a VBA password. There are instances where you would have created a file, saved with the password and then later 6 months or 1 year down the line, you forgot the password you have entered. So now let's learn how to open it without have using any of the external tools or using any other ways. So there are very simple steps you need to follow then you will get back the VBA, the project, what you have done. Without much delay, let's get started. I have this file, break PPA password. I have it in one of my folder. So the first thing I have not saved the project. So I'm going to do that. Right click, PPA project, protection, lock projects for viewing. I'm not telling you the password because we are here to figure that out. Okay, click OK, close, save and close and then let me go back, let me open this file, ignore this. Hmm. I'll open up the VBA window then I'm seeing here bake VBA password and it's asking for the password. Right now we are here to break this one. So the first step what you need to do is save this as xls format yes you heard me right it's an earlier version of excel rename it as or save that file as xls okay and then close it once you have that the step two is opening that xls file using notepad plus plus okay you will be seeing something like this but don't panic so we are not here to read this what is written in this format the only thing what you need to do is find the keyword TPD. Okay, where is it? Okay, so wherever you are, <laughs> so the thing is you need to replace DPB with DPX. Remember, you need to replace DPB with DPX. Hit replace. The one occurrence was replaced. And then save this Excel file or xls which you have opened it in notepad plus plus and then open that file again you'll see a warning the project file blah 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 contains invalid key dpx continue loading project you should say yes and the project gets open then i'll go to the vba developer it's unexpected then ignore those messages those warnings but what we need is the module what we have said see module one Again, when you try to open it, it gives you an error, unexpected error. Don't worry, just export this project. Right click, export file. Right click, export file. And I'm going to export in the same folder where I have this file. Module1.bas, save, close, close. So this is the file, the macro file what we have exported. Let me open up in Notepad++ to see this is what we are looking for. Right? So this is the one, subject text and the message box we said hello. Can ignore this. So what I am going to do is, I will be opening a new Excel. I am going to the developer, I will see file, import file and I'm going to import this macro see it came here in this new file so the only couple of steps I'll just summarize first thing is you need to export the file into XLS format second step open the XLS file change or replace DPP to DPX save and close open up the Excel file and export the .bas that the module the BPA module and import it in any other excel file there you go this is the way you can get back the project what you have done earlier if you like my video please like and subscribe thank you